2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And that's the player introductions completed. So in just a few moments, we'll be back and ready for action. Welcome, sports fans. Thank you for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Brian Anderson. Joining me, analyst Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill, and reporter Allie LaForce. So let's take a look at the starters for the Philadelphia 76ers. Harrison Embiid are in the middle. Maxi out there with Kyle Lowry. And it's Oubre in at small forward. And for Memphis, Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. Santi Aldama out there with Jackson. And it's Williams in at the three slot. Well, we got an old-fashioned matchup on our hands tonight, Grant. Two teams who deploy impactful big men. Yeah, B.A., and in a league where perimeter play so often is the deciding factor, tonight I expect this to be a slugfest inside. Now here's Lowry. Outside Maxi from behind the arc. Sinks it from distance. Now that's confidence right there. This is when you know Maxi is feeling it. Stolen by Lowry. Up top, Oubre. Harris down low. Guarded by Aldama. Harris misses. Here's Williams. And it's blocked by Embiid. Out of bounds as Memphis keeps possession. Here's Morant. Here's Williams. And a great assist by Morant as that one goes. Not the best pick I've seen, but look, hey, look, he got the job done, and that's all that matters. Harris passes to Maxi. Always ahead of steam, Richard. Tyrese Maxey is so electric. You never know what he's going to bring. Oh, B.A., he loves to get out and transition and run. Speed is his greatest asset, and look, speed kills. And he definitely uses that to his advantage. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. What I love most about Maxi is his aggressive attitude. When he's out there, he keeps his foot on the gas pedal. Both shots good from the strike. A few teams in the NBA take on the identity of their city. None more than the Memphis Grizzlies. Oh, so true. I mean, grit and grind is a way of life in Memphis. And the team embraces that mantra, playing with a swagger. Here's Moran. And he banks in the layup. There is bottomless hustle in Moran's game. A little contact, oh, he'll outwork that. Pass to Embiid. A little over a minute and a half into this first quarter. Here's Harris. The shot comes out. Excellent D there from Aldama. Here's Williams. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Here's Oubre. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. Lowry against Moran. Jackson for three. The rebound by Maxi For Philadelphia, they've gone just two for four from the floor. Pass to Embiid. Back to Maxi. Shoots over Jackson. And it's Maxi missing. And so it's Moran who brings up the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. It's a three-point game. Williams' shot is good. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. Maxi passes to Oubre. Going inside. 
He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now here's Aldama. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's on Joel Embiid. First free throw is good. Lots of winning going on in Philadelphia. Six straight playoff appearances, Richard. Yeah, they're the masters of the mid. Their game, that's just the way it is. No finals appearances. And look, that's got to be top of mind. East is tough, but they've got the talent to go far, but they just keep having mid seasons. And he makes both free throws. Grant, when you look at the Memphis team from last year, everyone was under 30 years of age. Yeah, and a lot of upside there. But the move this summer to bring in veteran leaders like Marcus Smart, I mean, he fits their timeline, B.A., and can also balance some of that youth with experience. So locked in from range. Maxi almost makes it look at for this. Outside Bain. From outside the arc. Rebound by the 76ers. For three, Maxi drills it from deep. Maxi's got 11 points. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Timeout called. Memphis. And what you appreciate about Tobias Harris, the steady production, Richard. Yeah, he rarely has an off night. Even if his shot isn't falling, he'll find other ways to help because he has a team-first mentality. A line change here for Memphis. And the 76ers will have a different look here. Reed's checked in for Joel Embiid. Batum comes in for Harris. Heald's checked in for Oubre. And it's Melton in for Lowry. Now here's Smart. And the foul called on Buddy Heald. That's his first foul of the game. Rose against Maxi. Six to shoot. From 20 feet. Rose can't connect. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. Batum in the post. And it's going to be a three-second call. The Grizzlies have gone three of eight so far. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Look, guys get away with this all the time. But on this occasion, he got caught. And Marcus Smart picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. We've got 128 left to play in the first quarter. Pass to heel. Three-pointer. Another three for Philadelphia. 
they've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. We'll see if they can keep this pace. Not sure they can win it by relying on just the three. Now here's Smart. No made baskets yet. Richard, if you think about Smart, he's such a dependable player at both ends of the floor. Especially on the defensive end, he is a lockdown guy. When he won Defensive Player of the Year in 22, he was the first guard to do it in 26 years since Gary Payton. That tells you the type of impact he can have. He makes a first. This is surely a spot that Marcus Smart has shown signs of being really good. He has definitely improved from the moment that he came into the league until now. Kennard, he's checked in for Rose. And so Smart nails them both. It seems you could bring in anybody to this team and pair them with Embiid, and they'd still win, Grant. Oh, they got a solid roster. But there's no denying that Embiid is the heartbeat of this team. The 76ers go how Embiid goes, kind of like our broadcast with you. And in the last five seasons, they've gone to the playoffs. Just five on the clock. Melton misses. And so Smart will bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Trailing by eight. Jackson down low. Melton covers. Jackson can't get it to go. The 76ers have got six of ten attempts to fall. Well, Maxi goes hard at the inside D, basically taking away their good options. And he can't get the first one. Williams is checked in for Memphis. Haynes checked in for Philadelphia. And the second free throw is good. 29 seconds left in the first quarter here. Stolen by Payne. To the inside. And Maxi the bucket on the assist by Payne. Maxi's got 14 points for the game. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. Smart for three. Hits the trifecta. He's got five. Look, and when Marcus Smart is hitting from deep, it really makes a difference in this offense. It becomes so much more dynamic. What a performance for Tyrese Maxey. He has been the story for the Philadelphia 76ers. Absolutely carrying the offense. He ends the quarter with 14. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. Another thing they're doing well early on is passing the ball, spreading it around the floor, and feeding guys who are well set up to score. And the NBA doing what they could to get rid of the take foul recently. Grant, it seems like a success. Absolutely. It's been a huge success. Fast breaks feel fast again. And penalizing take fouls has made the game much, much better. So on the floor for Philadelphia to kick off the second quarter. Harris and Embiid are in the middle. Cameron Payne out there with Kyle Lowry. And it's Oubre in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Lowry. No points yet. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. You don't win defensive player of the year unless you're extremely disruptive. Jackson was all over that. Here's Morant. Circus shot, John Morant. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Two 
Here's Harris. The shot, no good. Excellent D there from Aldama. Memphis trailing here. Back to Morant. From downtown. Yes! A Morant three! When Ja is knocking down that three consistently, it takes his game to a different level. Here's Payne. Softly drops in the floater. Payne's got his first basket. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. Pass to Williams. Aldama outside. Now Jackson. Embiid covers. Shot clock at five. Here's Williams. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Williams has got six. And Philadelphia calls time here. And in last year's playoffs, Memphis falling to the Lakers in six, RJ. Yeah, it was a bit of a disappointing season for the Grizzlies. They were the two seed, but injuries to Brandon Clark, injuries to Steven Adams, that just put them in a position that was not there for a postseason run. Bain, he's checked in for Williams. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Melton's checked in. The 76ers have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Pass to Embiid. To the wing on the left. Here's Lowry. Count it. One for one to start the game. And an impressive passer at the five spot. Embiid always has a great feel for when his guys are open. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Here's Bain. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. RJ, you watch Desmond Bain. He plays with a giant chip on his shoulder. Yeah, not highly recruited out of high school, playing four years in college. Bain was the last pick of the 2020 first round. And let me just say, he plays like he's been slighted. Free throw drops for Bain. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Jackson is checked in. And Bain drops them both. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. Lowry, the pass to Embiid. Back to Lowry. Here in quarter two, we played a little over two and a half minutes now. And here's Oubre from the arc. That one's off. He's two for three in the game. And it's Morant with the ball for the Grizzlies. It's a three-point game. Outside Bain. Ooh, rejected by Harris. Look at Harris getting it down on the defensive end. That's a good sign for this team. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Here's Oubre. Oh, and Jackson with the block. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. Marcus Smart's checked in for Memphis.
And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. Six on the shot clock. Maxi finds Melton. Over smart. The Sixers again can't hit. And just not allowing the shooter to get comfortable from mid-range. That's how you play it. Does a good job of getting into the shooter's airspace. Terrific focus from Morant. He gets a lot of defensive attention, but Morant, he can expect this type of rough scene anytime he takes it inside. Here's Batum. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. This game has been all about tenacity for them, getting right in the defense's business and winning trip after trip to the line. You also have to commend them for their fearless attitude offensively. They've been productive when driving to the basket. No good on the free throw. And whether he's starting or coming off the bench, Batum does what is asked of him. He's the definition of a quality role player. Clark is checked in for Memphis. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Reed's checked in for Joel Embiid. He hits the second from the line. And here's Memphis. They're on a 13-5 run. Morant using his speed. The shot no good. Healed with the defensive effort. Batum with it. And Clark picks him up defensively. Out to heal. There's a minute 40 left in the first half. And that's when they say you can't teach tall. This is where size helps you. Owning those rebounds on the defensive end. Wow, the heart of Smart. Unmatched in this league. That's just sheer will. Marcus Smart wanted that bucket inside, and sometimes you just got to make things happen. Timeout called. The 76ers. Well, you really can't say enough about what Jaron Jackson Jr. has done since entering the league, RJ. Yeah, B.A., not only is he a walking bucket, but opposing offenses have to account for how good he is on the defensive end. That's why he was Defensive Player of the Year. Stevens is checked in for Jackson. Melton with the ball. Jackson in his pocket. Melton misses. Outstanding work to send him away. They sniff that one out. Pass to Stevens. Clark outside. Melton against Smart. Shoots over Melton. Blocked! And he's able to get it back. Here's Stevens. No good on the three. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. With the 10-footer. And the jumper falls for him. Melton's got his first points in this one. And so Moran will bring it up for the Grizzlies. Smart outside. Smart on the drive! No good that time. Batum with the defensive effort. Philadelphia's got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Oh, and Jackson with the block. And that'll be Philadelphia's ball as it goes out of bounds. Sixers able to keep the possession.
Payne. The pass to Batum. Outside Maxi. Clock at six. It's good. Maxi's got 16 points. That sudden move off the pick. Maxi is tough to stay with defensively. Here's Morant. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. The Sixers on top, up two. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks, guys. I'm joined with Coach Taylor Jenkins. What's the focus as you look forward to the second half? Just ignite our pace. You know, everything starts with our defense. Can we pick up our activity? We've got to get some stops. Got to keep them off the free throw line. You got to get out and run. They're showing a great crowd in the paint, but just trust the pass. Everyone's got to trust each other, get multiple actions, get some good looks, and hopefully they'll fall for us. High expectations for Coach. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we hope you enjoyed the competitive first half of action. Ernie Johnson here welcoming you back to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. That guy right there is Shaquille O'Neal, and that guy right there is Kenny the Jet Smith. Philadelphia finds themselves ahead after two quarters. They have a two-point lead. Kenny, how'd you feel about it? The bench unit was an essential part of the puzzle in the first half. They really stepped it up in a big way, and that helped out. And now the starters can appreciate not having to carry the load on their own. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Grizzlies. I like the way they rebounded. They took over a lot of energy down low, fighting for each other on the boards. And they helped keep this game tight. If they can continue to do that, it could easily be the factor that swings the game in their favor. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Without question, Tyrese Maxey displaying all his skills today. He's hit shot after shot from deep. He's so locked in right now. If I'm his teammate, I keep feeding the hot hand, especially since he's been on fire from deep also. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. Jaron Jackson out there with Santi Aldama. And it's Williams in at the small forward position. That's the five to begin the second half for Taylor Jenkins. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Brian, there's a youthful exuberance in the Grizzlies locker room that some say more resembles a college team. Jaron Jackson Jr. said, quote, everybody listens to the same music, does the same things, watches the same stuff. We all vibe together and we like hanging around each other and it translates. Brian? Oh, you like that connection. Allie, thank you. Williams misses. The Sixers leading. Lowry, the pass to Maxi. Shoots off the step back. Got a piece of it. Oubre against Williams. It's blocked. And if you're just joining us, we play just over a minute here in the third. Harris outside. Late clock, the Sixers need to put one up here. And here's Lowry from the arc. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. Harris has got three assists now in this one. Here's Morant. Ooh, Morant going right at him. Let me just say this. You're going to want to put some extra tape on your ankles if you've got to guard John Morant because his handle is on a string. Harris down low, working on Aldama. With the seven-footer. Harris passes to Lowry. A clear look for Embiid. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. All alone from mid-range. you got to think he's kicking himself. Here's Williams. Ooh, excellent D there from Lowry. And it's Lowry with the ball for Philadelphia. They've led by as many as 11. Pass to Embiid. 
Maxi against Bain. The baseline, Jay. And it's Maxi missing. He was so well positioned to interfere with the shot. Textbook defense take a good angle to the shooter and bother the release. Here's Williams. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Every year, he's a defensive player of the year candidate. His instincts, that's what makes Embiid outstanding. And his awareness of when to go for the block. Now here's Lowry. He's got seven. Embiid finds Maxi over Bain. The Sixers again can't hit. The Grizzlies have got just two of six in the second half. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. And you see the unselfishness from Morant wanting to share that ball with any open teammate. Now here's Embiid. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. The contest and the rebound, folks. That is how you defend. Outside, Williams. Outside for Moran. Fantastic finish inside by Moran. Still a little bit of a streak shooter. Morant has been deadly accurate tonight. Man. And the 76ers call time here. And Richard Ja Morant, one of those guys that seems to always be working hard on his game. So much fun to watch. Yeah, he looks to improve every single year and still believes he can get even better than he is now. You gotta love that type of mindset. A big group substitution here for Memphis. Clark is checked in for Jaron Jackson Jr. Stevens comes in for Aldama. Kennard, he's checked in for Williams. And it's Marcus Smart in for Ja Moran. Payne with the bucket. Well, Batum can do a little of everything out there, including making quality passes to wide open guys. Payne against Smart. 143 left in the third quarter. Bain. Excellent D there from Payne. Had enough room to finish, and that's one he'll usually make. Inside. Reed inside. Clark covers. And it's blocked by Clark. Reed passes to Batum. Here's Heald. Grizzlies with the rebound. Smart's got four rebounds now. Kennard finds Smart. Here's Clark. Pass to Bain. The three. Batum pulls it in. Philadelphia has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line on this one. Back to Payne. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Tough one. In a game where every possession is valuable, turnovers can make the difference. Jackson, he's checked in for Memphis. Williams comes in for Bain. For Memphis, they've gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. Here's Smart. It's hauled in by the Sixers. They've led by as many as 11. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Reed, over Clark, and he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's on Brandon Clark. Man, good whistle there.
First one falls. And so he makes both from the line. And so it's Rose who brings up the ball for the Grizzlies. They trail by three. To stop the drought. That's good on the jumper. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. The Sixers on top, up by one. And we'll be back with you shortly. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. And the ability to drop your jaw with the pass is something you rarely see in this league. What a talent he is. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. Harris and Embiid are in the middle. Buddy Heald is out there with Maxi, And it's Oubre in at the three. Now look, he can certainly extend his range, but Embiid is very comfortable from distance. Here's Jackson following the score by Philadelphia. And it's in there. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for him. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Now here's Heal. Maxi on the wing. by Williams. Rose against Maxi, And the dunk by Jackson. Love watching Jackson on the receiving end of the alley-oops. He definitely won the athletic lottery. Harris outside. Williams grabs the board. Memphis leading. Rose outside. Back to Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. And there's the drive. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. <laughs> no debate there. He, he got hammered. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. I'm liking the throwback oh, approach. Take a break. They're making a break. use of the mid-range area and inflicting major damage there. Yeah, they've also worked at pounding the ball inside. It gave them high percentage looks all game, and it's paid off. He misses the free throw, and the Grizzlies with some changes. Bain comes in for Williams, and it's Morant in for Rose. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Lowry's checked in. Good on the second one. And right about now at this point in the game, there can be a massive difference between a two and three point advantage. Embiid passes to Maxi. Good. And the assist to Embiid. Watch out when Maxi finds his groove like this. He'll just keep coming at you and at you. Here's Morant. That one falls. Eight of ten and scoring with confidence. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. 
Now here's Maxi, who poked away and stolen by Williams. Morant with it, picked up by Lowry. Down low. Here's Bain, and the shot goes down. And now it's a four-point Grizzly lead. Sharing the rock. Part of what makes John ja Morant such a fantastic player is his ability to pass. And Philadelphia calls time here. Boy, you got to like what John ja Morant has done in this game. <laughs> they need to rethink their approach defensively. He's shown no signs of stopping. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. I had a chance to find out what Nick Nurse was discussing with his players. And they told the team, it's close. We've got a chance if we battle, compete. You can see the players love the message. They look fired up. We'll see if it works, Brian. Appreciate the report, Allie. Now here's Lowry. Three-pointer off the mark. They've been taking care of business. <laughs> Especially at the offensive end, where they've been totally in sync. So good at staying in attack mode. When Morant is going at defenses, he forces them to foul him. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Morant. The explosiveness of Morant is just incredible. His motor and work ethic are both tremendous as well. And Morant drops them both. And Embiid has got the ball here for the 76ers. Six-point game. Pass to Oubre. Now here's Lowry. Now Maxi. 4-3. Book it again. 7 for 12 and going at the defense. Attacking in a big moment. Maxi is not holding back. Here's Jackson. Aldama outside. Pass to Williams. Shot clock at 6. And again, Memphis no good. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. Now here's Moran. No luck on that one. Ooh, excellent D there from Lowry. Pass to Maxi. And he takes that one up and powers it through. He's a small guy with big hops. Maxi goes up high for that finish. Morant with it. Now guarded by Harris. Ooh, rejected by Harris. Here's Maxi. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. Harris has got four assists in the game. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the 76ers. They've been just suffocating on defense the whole game. Look at their shot blocking. The opposition doesn't have any room to breathe. Yeah, they've also done a great job of running. Attacking when they get the chance. Always a great idea. Now here's Morant. And it's critical. Morant steps up in the important points in the game. This is his time to shine. Oh, 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Ooh, he doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And we have seen Moran step up as a leader, wanting to go to the strike down the stretch. The 76ers making a switch here. Heald's checked in. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that ties this game up. I know he's kicking himself for not snatching a lead. But look, he tied things up. And Philadelphia calls time here. We present our New Balance Player of the Game, Tyrese Maxey. He has truly put on a show out there tonight, tearing it up on both ends of the floor. So impressive. And the other squad has looked helpless to stop him. Fifty-five seconds left in the fourth. To the paint. With the fadeaway. Cash! <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Timeout call. Memphis. They're losing by two. There's 47 seconds left in the game. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Moran. Jackson on the wing. Back to Moran. Count it! And tie game! Huge basket right there. And the 76ers call time here. The score nodded at 52. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter.
Here's Embiid. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good on the first, and that gives him a lead. And wanting to step up for his team, Jackson Jr. doesn't feel pressure at the line when games are hanging in the balance. So he gets them both, and it's a two-point ball game. In a tight game, he is exactly who he wanted at the line. To the middle. The jump hook. Embiid can't hit. And it's Morant with the ball for the Grizzlies. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Yeah, just trying to keep this game alive. Not a bad foul right there. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And that makes it a three-point lead. He's off on the free throw. Unable to get the second one to drop. It's all about getting a three right here. We'll see what they draw up. Three-pointer is a must. Laces one from three. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. Timeout call. Memphis. The score tied at 55. Five ticks left in the fourth quarter. Ticks left to play in the fourth quarter. Here's Moran. Yes! Found some space to get off the mid-range, and he'll do damage from there if you let him. And so it's the Grizzlies who come out on top here. That was an incredible night of hoops. A tremendous finish. They waited until the very last moment to seal it. And so many times we see these close games won by the home team. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. And we will see you at Jaron, you've shown season. yourself to be an impact player at both ends of the floor. But is defense where it starts? Yeah, you know, the talking keeps me active, just being able to move my feet, being able to stay low on defense, you know, all those things keep you engaged. And when you do those things, you can make a big impact as the anchor of the team. And, you know, everybody else, they take pride in defense. So if I'm working with everybody else, it's great. Thanks, Jaron. Congrats on your success. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. So long, everybody.